Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be solving the lead code question longest palindrome. So in this question, we're given a string which consists of lowercase or uppercase letters. And we need to find the length of the longest palindrome that we can build using those letters. And note that this is case sensitive. So a capital A and small a is not considered a palindrome. And assume the length of a given string cannot exceed this number, 1010. Okay, so what exactly is a palindrome and how can we solve this question? So let's just take a quick look at that. So let's say that we're given these letters as our input. So we have A, B, C, 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 D, D. Okay, so what is a palindrome? A palindrome is, let's say you have this over here, A and A and A, okay? And when you read it from left to right, you go A, then you get N, then you get A. But when you read it from right from left, so right to left, you get A, then N, and then A again. So a palindrome is when you read it from left to right, or if you read it from right to left, it's the same. But in this case, we need to make sure that the letters are case sensitive. So for example, if we had capital A, big N, and small A, this is not a palindrome, but this is. So it is case sensitive in this case. Okay, so now let's see how can we find the length of the longest palindrome given a string. So to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to count the frequency of each of our letters. So I'm going to do this inside of a dictionary. So first we have the letter A and it has a frequency of one. It only appears one time. Then we have the letter B, sorry, which also has a frequency of one. And we have the letter C and this has a frequency of one, two, three, four. So let's add that. And finally, we have the letter D, which has a frequency of two. So this is going to be our dictionary, right? Where we're holding all of the frequencies. Actually, for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna add one more D over here. So I'm just gonna change this value over here to three. So instead of two, we're gonna have a value of three. Okay, so we have A, B, C, and D, and D has a value of three. So let me just add that here, there's a third D. Okay, so how can we find out what the length of this palindrome is going to be? And the answer to that is pretty simple. We're going to start off by looking at everything that is even. So what is even over here? C is even. So let's just go to C and we're going to add C on each side. So for every C we have on the left hand side, we're going to have a C on the right hand side. So as it is, it's a palindrome, C, C. So let's do it again. So we have two more left, so we add one over here we add one over here. So, so far we got four letters down and as it is, it's a palindrome. So we took care of C. Now let's go to D. So D has three letters. And the thing is, uh, we can't use all three letters, but we could use some of it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use how many ever possible to make it a valid palindrome. And the answer to that is we can use two pods, so we can only use two Ds. So we can use one D over here and one D over here. So we're going to have C, C, D, and then D, C, C over here. Now, the remaining letters all have just a, a frequency of one. And note that over here we used up two and D currently has a frequency of one. So what we can do over here is these three on the left and these three are on the right are always going to be constant. but we can have one letter over here. It can be anything. So we can have one letter over here. This letter can either be A. So if you check this, this is palindrome. Or this letter can be B. Or this letter can be D. Any of them work. So the answer for this is we have a frequency of 1, 2, 3, 4, which can be any letter over here. And we have 5, 6, 7. And just to clarify, when I say any letter, it means any letter which has an odd frequency. So in this case, A, B, and D, since it has a frequency of one, since we used up two of its letters. So the answer for this is going to be seven. So the answer is seven, and we're gonna output that. So let's see how we can write this in code. It should be pretty simple to understand. All right, so we could do, so all we need to do in the beginning is we need to find out some sort of way to store everything in a dictionary per se. And we could use the counter from collections, but instead we're just not, we're not gonna use any libraries and we're just gonna do it using pure Python. So I'm gonna create a dictionary called letters and it's gonna store all the letters. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go uh, through each character. So for character in our string S, and if I not in our 
if i not in letters so if it's not in our dictionary then in that case we're going to add it to our dictionary with a frequency of one so it's going to be letters i equals to one else so if this is not the case that means that it is inside of our dictionary and we're just going to increase the count by one so we're going to go to letters i and we're going to increase its frequency by one so plus equals one so now we have our dictionary ready and over here, I'm going to uh, set two variables. So one is going to be our result. And over here, I'm going to have a variable called odd, which is going to count the, in, the number of instances of odd values we have. Okay, so now that we have that, uh, I'm also going to have a if statement. So if the length of our letters is equal to one, so what does this mean? So when our length of the letters is equal to one, that means that there's only one letter. And let's say there's only one letter and you have it repeated nine times or a thousand times. How many other times it's always going to be a palindrome since there's only one letter. So in that case, no matter what, we're just going to return the length of that. So we're going to return letters and the value. So it's just going to be S0. Okay, so uh, this is the key. S0 is going to be the key and we're going to return whatever value that is. So that's going to be our answer. But if that is not the case, if the length of our letters is more than one, then in that case, we're going to iterate through all of the values. So for i in letters dot values. Okay, so this gives us all of our values. And over here, we're going to have an if statement, which checks whether this value is greater than one. So if it's equal to two or more than that. So if that is the case, we're going to go into two if uh, any of the two if conditions. So if i mod 2 is equal to 0. So in this case, um, it is an even number. Then in that case, we're just going to add the value of i to our results. So that's pretty straightforward. But if the value of i mod 2 is not 0, so in this case, it's an odd number. And we can make it even by just subtracting it by 1. So we can add all of those numbers to our results. So in this case, all it's going to be, it's going to be results plus equals i minus 1, since we're going to remove one of its numbers, one of its letters. And what we're also going to do here, since now, since we've removed one of them, it's going to be remaining with one odd character. So we're going to add that to our odd list. So odd, we're going to increase its value by 1. And we're also going to do that one more time. If our So if our value is not, is not greater than 1, and in that case, we're going to increase the odd value by one again. And now finally, for our last step. So over here, if our odd value is greater than zero, right? If it's greater than zero, so that means that we do have an odd value. Remember that we can add one of, the, one of those values in between, right? So we're going to add that to our results. So results plus equals one. And then we're going to end up result, returning our results. So return result. So this should be our answer. So let's submit it and let's see what happens. Okay, so submit. Okay, sorry, I called it I over here. This is supposed to be character. So for character, this is character again. This is character. Okay, yeah, there we go. Okay, submit. All right, and as you can see, our submission did get accepted. And finally, do let me know if you have a better solution to solve this. And thanks a lot for watching, guys. And don't forget to like and subscribe if this video helped you. Thank you.